Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve two sum problem. So in this problem, we have an array of integers and we have a one integer target. And what we have to return is we have to return the indices of two number such that when we add those two number, we will get our target sum. So in this example, you can see we have this integer array nums and this target nine. And we will return zero one. So if you see here, if I add two plus seven, that it will give my target nine. So in this case, what is my index of two? Index of two is zero, and index of seven is one. So I have written zero comma one. So now let's understand how we can solve this problem. So the first very intuitive solution will be um, we will, we have an array. We will point our pointer first a pointer at zero, and the second pointer. It is the i plus one, and now from i, from this i plus one, we'll check that in the entire rest of array, do I have? Let's say if this ith index, my element is a i, so I will check in the rest of array, do I have a target minus a i? If it is there, then in that case, what I will return? I will return this ith index, and that index where this is possible, let's say this is j, so I will return i comma j. So, what will the time complexity of this solution? So, the time complexity of this solution will be of n square, and the space complexity of this solution will be of one because we are not using any extra space. Now, let's understand how we can how we can solve this less than of n square. So, the second solution can be can be we can ask the interviewer: uh, Is this array is sorted or not? Is this array sorted or not? If it is sorted, if it is sorted, or if it is not sorted, then also first of all we sort this array. First of all we sort this array. Let, uh, right now array is sorted. In the first approach, in the first question, it is not given it is sorted or not. So it may be sorted or not. So in the second, this may this is our second approach. So first of all we will sort this array. So we will have this array, and now what we will do? We will point our starting pointer. And ending pointer here, and we have our target nine. So what we will see, we will see what is the sum of this starting and ending point. So this is seventeen, which is greater than nine, which is greater than nine. Now we know this is sorted. That means there are this is greater element, there are smaller element. So if nine is is nine is, I have to reduce this sum. If I have to reduce this sum, so I have to move my end pointer. So in this direction. So if my target, if my sum of s plus e is greater than target, in that case I will do e minus minus. Otherwise, otherwise if my target sum is equals to nine, equals to nine, in that case I will return my s and e. And if it is less than, let's say, um, I am adding here. Um, we can say if I am here. If I am, this is my one, and this is. You can understand, okay? You can understand if my array is, if my target is smaller. Let's say if I have five, in that case I have to increase my sum. If I have to increase my sum, so I will move here because there are greater element, okay? So I hope you understand this intuition. So in this intuition, first of all we are sorting. For sorting, our time complexity will be n log n, and for This our time complexity will be of n. So overall time complexity will be of n log n, and the space complexity will be of one. But but if array is already sorted, if it is given that array is sorted, which is our time to some second problem in the lead code. So then our time complexity will be of n. So I hope you understand the both solution. Now let's jump to the third solution which will give our time complexity to of n for non sorted or you can say unsorted array so the optimal solution will be with the help of hash map so what we will do what we will do we let's say our array is this this is my array and my target is let's say 9 my target is 9 so what i will do while iterating i will check in my map I will check in my map. Do I have a target minus AI or not? So let's say if I, I am here. So what I will check? I will check. Do I have nine minus four present in my map or not? 
if it is there if it is there then i will return this four index and the element index so here what i am storing in my map so i will store the indexes with the number so here now five is not present here so what i will do i will move my pointers to seven and i will add here four and its index this is my index so now i will check do i have a nine minus seven yeah, no i do not have so i will make seven as one then i will come here now do i have a two minus nine minus two seven here yes i have seven so in this case what i will do i will add this into my answer this two index is zero one two its index is two and this index is i will find this index i will find this index and this is one so in this case i will return two comma one or one comma two whatever in any order i can return so i will return this and once i will return this my answer is completed so now let's understand what is our time complexity so in the worst case in the worst case we will go to entire array so we can say our time complexity will be off and because we are using here another map we do not need a sorted version so we are using another map which will give our time complexity of o1 so here uh, time complexity is overall time complexity will be o of n and overall space complexity what will be our space complexity so our space complexity will be o of n for using this extra space we are using an hash map for an extra space so this is our time complexity this is our space complexity so now let's check out the code so this is our two solution in the first solution what we are doing is we are using a sorting this so here we have our sorted so what we are doing is before doing this before doing this we have to sort our array we have to sort our nums array so we can use this sort operation and here we will use our a uh, nums iterator nums begin and end and once after doing sorting we start from start our first iterator first uh, pointer as zero and the second pointer at the end of the array and then we will use this if we our starting plus ending equals to target then we will break and return that otherwise what we will do otherwise we will return this if i have a nums plus i is greater than target then i have to minus my end point and if it is smaller in that case i have to increase my starting point so finally after doing that what i will do i will return this indexes so uh, this is our solution one which have the time complexity n log n for that sorting and this n for this and the space complexity is often so now this solution in this solution we have our result vector and what we are doing here is so here we have an order map we are using this an order map for storing the indexes and the uh, previous in integers so here uh, what you can see that if i have find if i have find the target minus nums i if i have find this so what i will do i will store i will store its index and my find the index from this map and i will break and return this result otherwise what i will do i will store its index into my map and the time complexity of this will be often and the space complexity of this will be also often i hope you understand all three solution and if it helps you do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching